Mike McWhorter, you've been in my thoughts and my prayers this week. Just want to let you know that up front uh, before we start tearing the guts out of werewolf men. Thanks for thinking of me. It's been kind of a tough weekend, um, and uh, it's not over yet, unfortunately. But, uh, uh, yeah. Some, a little bit of backstory. We were playing uh, Bloodborne here, if you couldn't tell, by the fact that it looks like a Souls game and is very gothic. And so far, we've shed, like, 14 gallons of blood, and we're just a few seconds in. Uh, we just got this thing with, like, a few days to spare before the embargo, uh, which means that you uh, ha- have needed to finish it. I, you're not going to finish it, right? Like, it's, that's too daunting a task, even I... if you were made of robot parts and didn't need to sleep. Yeah, I uh, decided to sleep. Uh, I'm also, because I write about video games, I'm pretty bad at video games. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so, and even though I've beaten the, the other Souls games, uh, I've found this one to be pretty challenging. It's always it's... a little difficult when you do these things without any guides, anybody yeah. to really talk to about it. Also, the online for this game is off. Doesn't come on until uh, the game launches, which means you don't even have the helpful in-game tips, which is one of many, 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 many returning features from other Souls games. Um, I guess like off the bat, let's talk about because this is me playing. I've been uh, I've been playing for I don't know maybe ten hours or so. Uh, let's talk about like how it is very very much a Souls game and also the ways that it kind of differs from it. For for my money, I think it's the hardest Souls game I've ever played. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Yeah, it uh, it is very much a Souls game in a lot of regards. You know, there are a lot of game mechanics that that transfer over from Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Um, less so from Dark Souls too. They kind of shed a lot of uh, what Jesus. some people would say. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what some people think as kind of improvements. Uh, but yeah, they dropped a lot of concepts for um, Bloodborne. Um, the thing that's that really different about it is that you know, as you can tell here, that there's a really big emphasis on aggressive combat. Um, sure, which is, I think, outlined mostly by the regain system. Um, yes. So you'll see every time I take a hit, I think it happens here, uh, you glow orange for a little bit, and whenever you attack something, in a very brief window right after you take the hit, you can regain some of the health you just lost. Yes. Um, so you have to push forward because enemies hit really, really, really hard. Uh, and if you don't, you know, back off every time you get hit, you're going to either run out of blood vials, which is sort of the Estus Flask S healing resource even though it doesn't recover um that almost went very bad Mm -hmm. uh i went bad but it could have gone much worse um so yeah if you you don't stay on the aggressive you'll die Uh, and that is also not made any easier by the fact that your uh ranged attacks in this game are kind of pathetic yeah if you were the kind of person who played demon souls and dark souls and relied on a bow and arrow or relied on magic spells you're you're in for a world of hurt because This is all melee, uh, and I cannot stress how critical the uh, gun stagger move is in this game. Yeah, uh, uh, that's what I opened up this video with. I think I do it one more time. Basically, if you shoot an enemy right before they attack you, you can do like a devastating execution move on them, which is a very efficient way to uh, to play the game. Although bullets are a resource, uh, as you can see there, they're uh, that 16 number underneath my health. You can also get those back by draining your health. You can like use your own blood as bullets, which is kind of a cool system. Here it is. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, right in the tummy. Yeah. So your gun is like a shield. Like your gun is a defensive thing way more than it is an offensive thing because again, the damage you do with it is is pathetic. Yeah. It. But it's really critical to use it in a lot of fights. You know, I, I encountered a, a late game boss fight that I was just struggling with because I was playing. Kind of like I would play Dark Souls, you know, just hand-to-hand combat and dodging and rolling. And then I decided, you know what, let's whip out the pistol in the middle of this fight and see how that goes. And I took that guy down in about four or five hits after that. So wow. uh, really cannot stress enough how much you have to learn how to use the, the firearms in this game effectively. Another thing that I feel like kind of separates it and also makes it much, much harder is that you almost never are fighting one enemy at a time. At the very least, you're fighting two, like it is here, and a lot of the time you're fighting like nine. Um, there's actually some cool mechanics in there. Uh, in the very first area that you play in, and you, if you've been following the game, you probably saw this from some of the alpha footage that came out, uh, but the early area of the game is jam-packed with enemies. Uh, and the only way to really make them more manageable is there's this like uh, gathering bell that will ring every few minutes or so that sort of sets them on different patrol routes. So you have to kind of wait for your opportunity to uh, move on. And there's a few other mechanics like that. Like there are wolves that you encounter in one part who will summon other wolves. So you have to kind of take down the alert guards very, very quickly um, or else you'll get very quickly overwhelmed. Um, these guys are just the worst. 
Um, I would say that people are going to have a really hard time, I think, more so with this game than any of the other Souls games uh, in the opening area. It's real tough out there it's right so, from the get-go. It's so hard. I'm going to try and publish like an a opening, like how to stay alive at the beginning of this game guide because here's the crazy part this is the first boss in the game cleric beast uh spoilers i guess but you do encounter him relatively quickly uh until you beat him you cannot level up yep you can't level up for a really long time in the game uh so the the build that you have when you start playing is the build you're gonna have all the way through this first boss fight uh, and there are some builds. I mean, there is essentially the, the same build that there is in every Souls game that's just like a worthless build of like your level garbage and all your stats suck. Yeah. Uh, if you pick that, I do not know how you get past it. it it is, it is man, it's super, super difficult. Um, yeah. So I would I didn't have too much of a problem with this guy in particular. Um, I kind of got lucky. Uh, I, you know... I kind of just used what my tools that were available to me and um, and took him out. Uh, I think you do get some maybe some fire paper before this. Maybe not. Yeah, that that helps. Uh, setting setting. There's uh, you really have to use items. I feel like in this game a lot more than you did in the last because a it's the only like effective way of doing range damage. Those Molotov cocktails are so essential uh, in some of the boss fights, uh, particularly the second one, which I won't spoil here. But it's against a very very fast, very deadly like one shot enemy. Uh, and if you don't use fire, like, I just don't know how you take him down. Uh, but just like in general, like, you have to use, there's an item called pebbles that you can use to sort of distract enemies and pull them away from the group, and you have to use that a lot as well. Um, this is the leveling system, which is going to look very familiar if you played a Souls game before. It's a lot more limited. There's only six stats that you can put points into, and I'm still not 100% sure what Arcane does because I have not found an item that uses it yet. Um, so, uh, from what I understand, it, it uh, actually boosts the effect of other um, buffs like fire and bolt. Hmm. Um, so, when you have weapons that have uh, those kind of attributes, um, it's going to increase the effectiveness of them. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm kind of into it because, like, in a lot of Souls games, there are stats that I just don't touch. Like, I just don't. I think resilience was a stat in the last game that I never put a single point mm -hmm. into. And I never really fully. I mean, I know it helped out with defense, but I just never saw the point in using it. Um, yeah, it's it's I, I feel like it's a lot more straightforward. It's one of the more straightforward elements of the game. There also I haven't encountered any of the uh, uh, what was the guild system that was in the Souls game? Covenants. Covenants. Yep. Yeah, I, I, are, are those in the game? I Have I just not gotten to them yet? They are in the game. They're under a, a new category called Oath Memories. Uh, and on the previous screen, you could see the Carol Rune um, section in the upper right. And those runes are kind of like rings in Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Uh, and then the last one is the is the Oath Memory, and that's um, that's your covenant. And there are a couple covenants. I am in a PvP covenant right now. Of course and, you are. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, covenants are in there. Uh, it took me a really long time to actually find one. Um, so it's not kind of like Demon Souls uh, or, or Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 where kind of right off the bat you can just hop right into some covenants. Yeah. This kind of, they keep a lot of things uh, for the late game here. Yeah, uh, I've noticed that. Uh, specifically, like, this is, uh, this is a little bit further on into the game. Uh, spoilers, I'm about to get to a part which is by far my favorite thing that has happened to me in this game and maybe any Souls game ever. So if you want to go into this game sort of unspoilt, uh, I would recommend maybe stopping the video now. Thanks for watching. Okay, later. Okay, thank you for still being here. Um, uh, there are not a lot of items. Like, I have not found a ton of weapons. Uh, and I've been playing for a while now. Here I'm using a hunter's torch that I just found, which is kind of cool. It's, it takes the slot that you use for your guns, um, so you don't have any ranged attacks when you're using it, but it's really useful against uh, beast-type enemies, which, like, everybody in this area is. But, like, I've only found one weapon, and it's the weapon I'm using now that, like, I had to actually boost my stats to be able to use. So, like, early on in the game, you're basically using either the starting weapons or one of, like, two weapons that you unlock for completing a boss. Yeah, um, I played for about 15 to 16 hours with the starting weapon until I found something that I thought was really interesting. That's um, kind of bonkers. That's kind of, like... I don't know, that's crazy. It's so different from, from how every other Souls game has been where, like, you could run around and scamper around and find, you know, maybe a weapon in an area you're not supposed to be at yet and then, you know, try and get that. Here's that moment. Hey, who's that oh, guy talking to you? Oh, shit. It's uh, somebody who, for the rest of this level, will shoot you with a Gatling gun. Uh, <laughs> no matter where you are, if you, if you are outside in this level, this person is going to light you up. Still haven't been able to kill him because once you get up to him, 
He's really difficult. He's like really, really goddamn hard to kill. Yeah, um, you know what? I, it took me a long time to beat that guy, and it was near the end of the game. Um, I would not recommend going after him too early, because um, he is going to work you. In general, I am blown away at how crazy difficult this game is. I played and beat and loved the hell out of Dark Soul, uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. I'm like on my third playthrough of Dark Souls 2, and I'll probably do it again once it comes out on PS4 uh, and Xbox One with the Scholar of the First Sin or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. um, but I am like, I am flabbergasted at how difficult this game is. And it's, it's amazing because it's like, uh, it's kind of how I felt when I played the first, uh, I played Dark Souls before I played Demon Souls. I remember ha having that feeling then too of like, oh my God, I can't believe how difficult this game is. Uh, and maybe it's just because like I am playing it before it's out and don't have like any help in the way of guides, which is to me sort of a quintessential Souls thing of like getting online and having mm -hmm. almost that playground interaction of, oh, oh, did you find any secrets? Please God, tell me any secrets that you found. <laughs> um, but it is kicking my ass and I'm loving it. It is really tough, and there were a lot of moments where I was kind of uh, almost brought to tears uh, mm. by this game because it's been really kind of difficult to beat it under a deadline. Yeah. But um, you know what? You'll persevere. I believe in you. Uh, I got through some some pretty tough uh, scraps here, but uh, and, and now I'm in the middle of one, a really tough one that I'm I'm actually actively seeking help on. So. Oh gosh. You can do it. I know you can do it. It's just uh, it's really difficult. Thank you for believing me. Yeah. I mean, it also has the same souls thing of like whenever you do finally accomplish uh, something sweet, like, it feels so good, man. Yeah. Beating that, that second boss who destroyed me maybe eight or nine times, uh, which is always very annoying because you lose souls in the process of doing so. Uh, after beating him and, like, pulling off some totally sick dodge maneuvers, like, uh, man, I felt like the high king of all video games. Here's me using a wooden shield I found, which I think they put in the game as a joke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because it does, it blocks like not all of the damage and it also completely drains your stamina bar whenever it blocks anything. So it is completely useless. I don't know so if there's I, other shields in the game that are more effective, but it seems like not this game's uh, MO. There was one moment where I found the shield useful. Uh, I will say that. Um, okay. But uh, I don't think there's another shield in the game. I, I haven't seen <laughs> one. Uh, so I, that should really be an indicator as to how much you have to focus on aggressive combat in this game. The one shield that they did put in here is the shit shield that yeah. they give you, uh, that the dregs drop in uh, in other games. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's amazing, man. It, I've had to completely relearn how to play this series because I usually play as either a magician or I play as a heavily armored, like, faith user, and that's not an option. Here's a thing that happened that I just still don't quite understand. I was wondering if you could shed some light on. Got picked up <laughs> by a big invisible hand, and then uh, it ate me, uh, and all my blood came out. But then I was fine. Yeah. Okay, um, I mean, I can unpack that for you a little later. That might be a little long to explain in this video right here. But uh, yeah, watch out for giant uh, spider-like invisible specters that might transport you to other locations and induce frenzy, if uh, that makes any sense to you. Okay, so I guess a good PSA for the viewer. Look out for spectral spider hands. Mm -hmm. um, we're about out of video. I ended it with a dumb death because how appropriate. Um, but uh, when is your review going to be up, do you think? I think it's going to hit later this week. We, uh, I'm going to write some impressions things today and the, some little tips for some folks. Hot tips, uh, yeah. And, um, and I think I need to spend more time with the online. And um, hey, that was a neat little trick you did there. Hey, thanks. Uh, yeah, it panned out really well. Cool. <laughs> well, uh, looking forward to that. We'll have a lot more videos on this game throughout the week. So stay tuned. Oh, jeez.